Union Jung limit of trigonometric function. Uh, there are six important functions. So ito yung mga functions na makikita natin when we are solving limit of trigonometric function. We have your sine, we have also your cosine, your tangent, and the reciprocal functions which are cosecant, second, and cotangent respectively. Basically, yung mga functions nato refer to the ratio of any two sides of a right triangle with respect to a reference angle. That is your trigonometric function. Meron tayong tinatawag na sinusoidal trigonometric functions. Dalawa lang yan. That is in the form of y is equal to sine x and we have also y is equal to cosine x. Again, they are considered the most fundamental trigonometric functions. Bakit? Because all the other functions can be expressed in terms of these two functions. Kaya, pinaka fundamental trigonometric functions sila. Therefore, para ma-evaluate natin yung limits and trigonometric functions, we need to establish first the values of limits of sine x as x approaches c plus c. And we have also a uh, limit of cosine x as x approaches c. So ito yung graph again ng sine x natin as x approaches c. And we have also the graph of your cosine x. So based on the figure na meron tayo, we can generalize the important properties ng functions natin. y is equal to sine x and y is equal to cosine x which will allow you to evaluate the limits ng trigonometric functions. The graphs about the functions are continuous. Ibig sabihin, tuloy-tuloy yan. Like the graphs of polynomial functions um, and their domain includes all real numbers. Or din ko lang na yung domain ng sine x and cosine x are all real numbers. Therefore, katulad ng polynomial functions yung limit, Nang sine x and cosine x as x approaches, a certain real number can be evaluated using direct substitution. Let's say for example, we will evaluate the limit of sine x as x approaches 2 pi over 2. So, tanda natin that the value of pi over 2 is equivalent to approximately equal to what? To 1.5708. Kasi yung estimated value ng pi natin is 3.1415. Okay? Then we have pi over 2 is equivalent to approximately 1.5708. So dito sa table of values, pipili lang tayo ng mga value ng x natin which are sufficiently close to your pi over 2 or 1.5708. So value ng x natin from the left, we have 1.51. 1.52, 1.53, 5.4, 5.5, five, five, and 5.6. Okay? So, ito yung mga value ng x natin which are from the left of your pi over 2. So, to find the value of y, dito kasi pi yung um, approach ng x natin, uh, see to it na yung calculator natin as in radian mode. Okay? Kasi pag hindi siya naka radian mode, you mangyayari dyan, you will automatically put the value of your x to your sine x. And mag-iiba yung sigot. Again, pag pinag-uusapan natin yung trigonometric function, always see to it that your calculator is in radian modes. Okay? If your x is 1.51, your calculator give you 1.9981. Ganun din yung case ni 1.52. This is the value of y. Another one, another, another, and another. Now, let's describe. So, ano yung nangyayari sa value ng y natin as x approaches pi over 2 from the left? Okay? So, ito yung value ng pi over 2 from the left or pi over 2 negative. So, yung value ng y natin approaches to 1. Kasi from 0 0.9981 naging 0 0.9987. Naging 0 0.992, naging 0 0.995, 0 0.998, 0 0.999, and 
And that concludes the turbine approaches to positive 1. Hanapin naman natin yung value ng x natin from the right of pi over 2. So dito, nag-set ulit tayo ng mga values which are sufficiently close to your pi over 2. And these are 1.58, 1.59, 1.6, 1.61, 1.62, and 1.63. So, para makuha yung mga values ng y, again, set your calculator in Rivian modes. Then, ito na yung ilalagay natin um, as your value of your x. And therefore, sine of 1.58 is 0.9995. Sine of 159 is 0 0.9998. Sine of 1.6 is 0 0.996, so on and so forth. Then, we will analyze your um, limit of your function as x approaches pi over 2 from the right naman to. Okay? So, habang yung value ng x natin approaches from the right of pi over 2, yung y natin also approaches to 1. Katulad ng naunang table, the value of y approaches to 1. From 0 0.9982, na yung 0 0.998, na yung 0 0.992, 0 0.996, 0 0.9998, 0 0.9995 that includes that the value of your y approaches to positive 1. Therefore, a limit of sine x as x approaches pi over 2. Because y is equal to sine x kanina and y is equal to cosine a, uh, x are continuous functions, ibig sabihin, they are defined for any real number x. And then, pwede natin sabihin that the limit of um, sine uh, x as x approaches uh, c is equal to sine x sine c and the limit of cosine x as x approaches c is equal to cosine c. Kasi nga, defined naman yung limit ng ating function as x approaches to any real number. So we have the following limit. That is, gagamit na tayo ng direct substitution to evaluate your uh, limit. Evaluate the limit of cosine x as x approaches 0. So, this is defined for any real number. Gamit lamin tayo ng direct substitution. That is, limit of cosine x as x approaches 0 is equal to cosine 0. Using your calculator, the answer is 1. Hence, limit of cosine x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1. Example. Evaluate the limit of cosine 2x as x approaches to pi over 2. So, dito kung hindi nakaset sa written mode yung um, calculator natin, okay, then pwede yung gawin yung other way. Na kung saan, i-convert natin yung pi over 2. Okay? So, paano to? We will simply multiply pi over 2 by 180 over pi to eliminate your region. That is pi. So, 180 divided by 2 is 90. So, pi over 2 is also the same as 90 degrees. So, pwede nyo nang insert yung 90 to the value of your x. That means, limit of cosine 2x as x approaches pi over 2 is also the same as cosine pi over 2, which is the same as cosine 90 degrees, and the answer is negative 1. Hence, limit of cosine 2x as x approaches pi over 2 is equal to negative 1. Another one. Limit of tangent 3x as x approaches to pi over 4. So again, kung ayaw nyo iset sa Rydian mode, yung calculator, pwede natin i-convert yung pi over 4 by simply multiplying it by 180 over pi para ma-eliminate po yung pi. And that becomes 180 divided by 4 or simply 45 degrees. So pwede nyo ilagay yung 45 degrees as a substitution ng x kung hindi siya naka-Rydian, pero kung naka-Rydian, pwede na tayong gumamit ng pi over 4. Therefore, okay, so, yung tangent 3x pala natin is also the same as sine of uh, sine 3x over cosine 3x. Okay? So, pwede kang gumamit ng sine 3x over cosine 2x or pwede ding tan 3x kasi meron namang tangent na uh, function sa calculator natin. So, either of the two. Okay? Therefore, the function becomes negative 1. So this is the limit of your tangent 3x as x approaches pi over 4. 
limit of sine x over cosine x minus 2 as x approaches 0. So, copy. Then, by direct substitution, lahat ng x magiging 0. That becomes sine 0 over cos times 0 minus 2. Then, sine 0 is equal to 0. Then, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Any number uh, divided 2, 0 is 0. And therefore, limit of your function as x approaches 0 is simply 0. Okay, so punta tayo sa special limits na kung saan hindi kayang isolve ng direct substitution. So we have two special limits here. That is, the first one, limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1. Yun yung limit niya. And the other one, limit of 1 minus cosine x over x as x approaches 0 is 0. So you need to memorize these two special limits under trigonometric function. Kasi yun na nga, hindi kayang isolve na direct substitution. Example. Evaluate the limit of sine 3x over x as x approaches 0. Kung gagamit tayo ng direct substitution, the function becomes sine 3 times 0 over 0. That makes your function indeterminate. So, gagawa tayo or hahanap tayo ng ibang way. Yun na nga, gagamitin natin yung special limits. So, dito, maglilet y tayo is equal to 3x. Papalitan natin siya ng, 3, ng y later. Okay, if x approaches 0, y is equal to 3x also approaches 0. And then, limit of sine 3x over x as x approaches 0. Yung gagawin natin dito, we will multiply this function by 3 over 3. Kasi, para magamit yung special limits, dapat yung um, term ng sign at yung term ng denominator dapat pareho. In our case, 3x is different from x. So, kailangan natin uh, going pareho to. By simply multiplying this by 1. Okay? So, ano yung 1 na yun? That is 3 over 3. Kasi yung um, term ng sign natin is 3x. So, dapat yung numerical coefficient ng x na nasa denominator is 3. So, we will multiply by 1. And that's 1 is 3 over 3. Then simplify. Okay. Yung 3 na to na nasa baba, multiplied by your x, that becomes your 3x. Yung isang 3 na to, hindi na natin kailang i-multiply by your 3x. Kasi nga, um, yung goal na natin dito is to make your term ng sign the same as a term ng, ng denominator. So times 3 na tayo dito. Okay. Then this becomes... Uh, yung sinet natin, we let y is equal to 2x, right? So, yung 2x na to, papalitan natin ng y. And that becomes sine y over y. And according to the special limit ng trigonometric function, the limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1. So, ibig sabihin yung sine y over y, limit nito is equal to 1 na siya. Okay, then multiply by 3, and the answer is 3. Limit of your function as x approaches 0 is equal to 3. Another example, evaluate the limit of 1 minus cosine 5x over 6x as x approaches 0. So, dito kung gagamit tayo ng direct substitution, the function becomes indeterminate. Gagawa tayo or hahanap tayo ng ibang way. That is, by letting y is equal to 5x, if x is approaches 0, then your y equals uh, 5x also approaches 0. Okay? By direct substitution, maging indeterminate ito. Yung gagawin natin dito, para magamit yung special limit ng cosine, okay, we will make this term the same as your denominator. Paano ang gagawin? So, we will multiply this by 1. Since 5x na yung term ng cosine, okay, we will multiply 5 yung nasa baba. Gagawin natin tong 5x. By simply multiplying your function by 5 over 5, or that is 1. It doesn't affect your expression. Pareho pa rin yun. So here, so yung 5, nag-swap lang tayo para maging pareho yung term nila dito. Okay? Kaya naging 1 minus cosine 5x, copy, over, 
Again, nag-swap lang din sila ng position. Okay, we have 5x. And then we have times 5 over 6. Yung goal lang natin dito is to make the term ng cosine the same as the term ng denominator para magamit natin yung special limit. Balikan natin yung special limit. And that the limit of 1 minus cosine x over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0. So here, pareho sila. So magiging 0 na yung uh, expression ito. Okay, so we have 0 multiplied by your 5 over 6 and the answer is simply 0. Thus, the limit of your function as x approaches 0 is equal to 0. Another example. Ito, dalawang sign na So, limit of sine 5x over sine 6x as x approaches 0 naman. Anong gagawin natin dito? Kasi meron tayong um, dalawang sign na nasa numerator and denominator. Ganun pa rin yung rule. Gagawin natin, maghahanap tayo ng number na kung saan magkakapareho yung term ng sine na nasa taas at yung term ng denominator. And also, sine ng 6x, dapat pareho din siya sa taas, which is uh, 6x din. So, anong gagawin natin? So, we will let 5x dito as y and yung 6x as w. Okay? Para maihiwalay natin yung term ng sine na nasa taas at yung term ng nasa baba. If x approaches 0, then y and w also approaches 0. By direct substitution, magiging indeterminate siya. Anong gagawin natin? We will multiply your function by, ito, 5. Para magkaroon tayo ng 5 sa baba. So, 5 over 5, that is 1. Yung nasa baba naman, we have 6x. Kailangan natin magkaroon ng 6 sa taas. Multiply again by 1, that is 6 over 6. Okay? And then, wag kanimutan yung variable na x. So, we have x over x. And this is also equal to 1. So, lahat ng value na nakikita natin are all 1. Okay? It does not affect, affect your expression sine 5x over sine 6x. And then, simplify. Okay? So, we have sine 5x. Then, yung 5 at saka yung x na to, pagsasamahin natin, dito natin ilalagay under ni 5x, sine 5x. Kaya naging ganito siya. Okay? Hiwalay din natin yung sine 6x. Dapat, meron din tayong 6x sa taas. So, we will multiply 6 and x. Okay, yung na e1, isang 5, and we have isang 6. Then, we will multiply these two functions by 5 over 6. Gamit tayo ng special limit. Okay, ulitin na natin. And that sine x over x is equal to 1. So, this is equal to 1. The limit of this is also equal to 1. Then, multiply by 5 over 6. And the answer is 5 over 6. And that is the limit of your function as x approaches 0. The only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. See you.